Hi everyone, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to need all these four colors, the yellow, orange, red, and blue. This is a natural blue that I mixed with the yellow to get the green color. And we're going to need one more, which is the sky blue. This is the vivid blue color that you're going to see a little later. And of course, ink. Let's get started. I'm going to use a large brush to paint the large body of Scarlet Macaw. The red is a mix of orange and scarlet red color. And I'm going to use the large brush to paint the head as well. If you're not comfortable of using a large brush, then switch to use this smaller one. And I use the same brush to paint the yellow plumage and then the blue color. The blue is the sky blue, which is a lot brighter than the regular blue that I always use. While the bird appears to be all red, there is a few blue undertail feathers. For the beak, it should really be light beige white color, but I wanted to keep it simple by painting one stroke, so I use ink. The chest is also red, but I would like to use some light red. Again, if you want to achieve a gradient effect, Take some orange color first, then red. And now I'm switching to use a large brush to paint a thick, strong tree branch for the big bird to perch on. While a lot of birds are able to balance themselves on top of the tree branch, but I wanted it to be strong and sturdy to have a balanced look. And also I'm going to paint a mate for this one. I'm sorry that the camera was off when I was painting these climbing plants. The reason why I'm painting climbing plants instead of broad leaves is because this is a small piece of painting and the birds are already really big. If you're new to my channel, this green is a mix of yellowed and the natural blue color that I always use. And then I take a little bit of orange color at the tip to paint so that there is a gradient in my leaves. Scattered macaws are native to Central and South Americas. Its preferred habitat is humid evergreen forest, but you may also find them in gallery forest or some lowland as well. If I were painting a large piece of painting, I would have painted a thick forest or maybe more birds. Now it comes to the tricky part, which is the second tail. You have to make sure that it's not completely parallel to the first one. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video and thank you for reminding me to keep painting. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next one.